hello welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is cello hello so today i'm here with the grocery haul as you can tell i went to kroger's yesterday and i got like how much money did i spend i got like 96 dollars worth of stuff okay so let's start off with vegetables the type of vegetables i got first off i got zucchini and yellow squash i got like two pounds worth four of them they're super essential i love just toss them in the stove with some garlic powder and onion powder i call it in the day i got a bell pepper just because just one bell pepper i like to just dice it up for like omelets and sometimes in my fajita vegetables it really depends on what i'm cooking so i always need a bell pepper i got some little great tomatoes for a dish i want to make within the next couple of weeks i need that and also for salads because i need tomatoes in my salad it don't feel like a real salad unless there's tomatoes in it also got some sweet potatoes these are one of like my favorite carb sources to like eat i just throw them in the stove for like 35 minutes on 400 and they taste real 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 good i ran out of onions so i got me a bag of yellow onions they're essential just like a bell pepper i kind of cut them up and use them in everything for some extra flavor and then also i saw these caesar salad kits on sale at kroger and i love caesar salad i've been craving a caesar salad so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go on and get it. So I got two of them. And yeah, that's pretty much it on like the fresh vegetables. And now let's move on to like the frozen vegetable. So yeah, first off, I got two bags of Brussels sprouts. Um, Brussels sprouts are actually just mini cabbages. They taste like mini cabbages to me. If cabbages and broccoli had a baby, it'll be Brussels sprouts. And they actually taste pretty good. I really enjoy them, so I got two bags of these. Next up, these broccoli cuts. Of course, broccoli is an essential vegetable. Gotta have it. It's one of my faves, as you can tell. So, yeah, there's that. Also got two bags of llama beans. They're a good source in fiber as well as a good source in potassium. And I just haven't had it in a long time. And... Yes, I have my favorite vegetables, but I do get bored of my favorite vegetables. So, there's a little switch up. I just boil these like the boil black eyed peas, and it tastes pretty good. Lastly, I got frozen cauliflower. Two bags of this. Um, this is Broccoli's Light Skin Brother. Yeah. Um, I actually like buying frozen cauliflower because then I can like take my food processor and grate it up and it's cheaper to buy it like this versus like actually buying the already riced cauliflower. Like they want to charge you two, three extra dollars because they riced it for you. Man, I can do that myself. So yeah, I got this for some rice later on this week. And then I know this ain't a frozen vegetable, but this is frozen fruit. I got the citrus fruit blend. Uh, this is, um, it has strawberries, mangoes, uh, pineapples, peaches, and grapes in it. All that in it. I like to use a cup of this to make my protein smoothie. So, I'll do like a cup of fruit, frozen fruit, a cup of almond milk, and then a scoop of my whey protein, and it just tastes good. So, I need to be up on this. Since we're already in the cold category, I'm gonna show you some other cold dairy stuff that I got. First off, I had to get me some shredded cheese. If you know, you know. This mozzarella. Not mozzarella, oh my God. Did I really say mozzarella? Oh my. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. You know what? I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. So you guys, I just realized I picked up Parmesan instead of mozzarella. I needed mozzarella for my pizzas. Like if you saw in like my what, and I, what I eat in a day video, you saw that I've been tearing up pizzas and I put mozzarella on top. But this time I did, I got Parmesan. It's okay, we're gonna use Parmesan. And it's gonna taste just as good. It'll be all right. 
So I got this for the pizzas and then some sharp cheddar for my omelets and eggs and whatever need be. And then I got some cream cheese for this recipe I saw on TikTok. I was gonna, well, I'll, I'll probably film that video, but I found a recipe on TikTok that requires cream cheese and some other ingredients and I can't wait to show you guys. So I bought cream cheese just for that. Y'all will see that, stay tuned. And I think that's it for like all of my dairy cold stuff. Now let's get into snacks, cause I need snacks. All right, so boom. These three are super essential snacks that I just live and I love, like I just love. Start off with these Lay's Kettle Jalapeno Chips. They're the best kettle chips ever. Like, I love the spice, I love the crunch, I love everything about it. Like, it, it every craving that I have, this, satisfies it and I know it ain't the healthiest I know but I'm not trying to deprive myself of anything so I allow myself to eat this and I be good same thing with these cheese it snaps cheddar sour cream the other ones they're good like the jalapeno cheddar that's good but these are the best like these taste better than ruffles to me like Real deal, Holyfield, better than Ruffles. And then lastly, I got beef sticks. I got the off brand because I felt like being cheap. But you know, they're like seven grams worth of protein, keto friendly, low carb. It's, it's, it's real, real good when I need extra protein for the day. I like them. Now that we've gone over snacks, it's time to just go over like some other essentials and like pre ups I needed in my pantry closet so here we go first off let's start off with crystal light i do not like drinking sodas i just don't i don't i don't like it i i prefer from if i'm gonna drink my calories it's gonna be alcohol that's me being honest when i allow myself to have alcohol I'd much rather drink those than drink soda. And this is the Crystal Light and Fruit Punch. It has been a lifesaver. I make a picture of this and I drink it with uh, my food. I'll do this like once a day, but I try to mainly like drink water, water to feel refreshed. But yeah, I got these. But my favorite tea in the whole wide world. Like if you know me, you know this is my favorite tea. This is the Bigelow, yeah, Bigelow Lemon Ginger Tea with Probiotics. The, the herbal tea, no caffeine, probiotics tea. This helps, probiotics, we all know is good for like gut health and like down there health, pH balance health and stuff like that. And I really, really, really love drinking it. Like it helps with cramps, it helps soothe my migraines, it, it just, it just gives me that boost of energy that I just really, 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 really love. So I re-upped on this because I ran out of this. And then my girlfriend, if you're watching, hey girl, hey Jazzy. Uh, she bought me some lemon ginger tea and I've been used all that up too. So I had to re-up on everything. So needed this. So I re-upped on some pasta. Uh, this one is, I, you, if you've been on TikTok, on fitness TikTok, you've seen this Berea protein penne pasta. And it's good. I like it. It's fire. And then also, I saw this vegetable spaghetti at um, Kroger. I mean, it's, uh, the macros on it really ain't too bad. It's, it's better. I just wanted to, I just bought it. It was only like a dollar. I just wanted to try it out. And then I bought some pasta sauces. I bought some pesto. I haven't had pesto in a really, 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 really long time. So I just wanted it. I, I, I've, I've been wanting it. So I'm going to cook it later on this week. And then my family, they love Alfredo. Like, they just love it. So I got two cans of the four cheese alfredo and i'm gonna cook that later on this week for them oh yeah 
I also had to re-up on my tortillas. The ones that I got, that you seen in the last video, the last What I Eat video, I got those from Aldi's. Obviously, I didn't go to Aldi's this time. So, I got Kroger's brand. I got them in the wheat ones. I'm going to use these for my pizza still. Anywho, I had to re-up on some seasonings and oils. I love using extra virgin olive oil. And I needed to re-up on it. So I got this one right here. I also bought some seasonings. I had to re-up. Normally, I'm a Lowry's girl. Like, I love Lowry's. But my Kroger's didn't have any. So I just got the Morton season all. It'll do. But one thing that I couldn't do is not having no garlic powder or onion powder. And I'm running hello low on both so i got both of them good old handy dandy garlic powder and good old handy dandy onion powder needed to re-up on these i put these on everything chicken eggs veggies salmon ground beef steak pork everything that's pretty much everything no 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 the main attraction that i forgot to take out hold on back it's a salmon. I should have got two of these. I should have got two of these. In fact, I may go back to the store and get another one of these. But, oh my goodness, when I made this the other day, it was so good. So, so good. I had to cop another one. And I am going to get another one. I am. Because it's already pre-portioned out for you. And you season it and it fries deliciously. It takes little to no effort to make this salmon taste good and it was only $7.99 $7.99 and the protein is 23 grams per serving and there's four, four to five servings in here I can't beat that I can't so yeah I'm pretty much done with that's basically no 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 oh yeah I did get um a case of water. Um, I ain't gonna show you no case of water on camera. You know what a case of water look like. Yeah. But, yeah, that's pretty much everything I got in the grocery haul. Um, These groceries are probably gonna last me, I wanna say, two weeks to uh, two to three weeks. Because I already have, like, some things I didn't really need to buy, like chicken and, like, turkey because i already have that kind of stuff in my freezer already for like my big 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 grocery haul like when we buy groceries as a family this is just stuff i personally wanted to re-up on i wanted to try i just needed in my pantry so i can stay on track and on top of myself so yeah that's that's what these groceries are you guys enjoyed if you did give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next video deuces